Welcome back, family, friends. I know it's been a while, but I'm back, and I have the Cryptocrim Partial Terror for April. Yeah, I know it's almost mid-May, but I'm lazy. <laughs> this box has been sitting around my house for well over a week or more. But finally, I want to go do some videos. So let's check out this box and see what we have in here. This is all Predator themed, which is really awesome. And should be very interesting. It's the new 2018 The Predator film trailer dropped just a few days ago on the uh, like the 8th of May or something like that. Maybe the 9th. I don't know. But uh, what do y'all think of that new The Predator 2008 like reboot? The trailer doesn't really impress me much. So let me know what y'all think of that trailer. I not really sold on the first trailer so hoping the next trailer gets me more interested in this the predator but right now this this video is about cryptocurrency and partial terror predator themed from the great artistic geniuses over there jason mckittrick and his guest artist so let's get this open i got the old flying monster knife out here we're gonna get it open Finally dug out this knife. Pop into this box here. It's a different type of box here too. Look at it. It's nice and flat, small. It's got a really interesting looking art piece in here, I'm sure. Got some black tissue paper. I got one flyer here. Let's see if this is the one for this box. This is a letter to the subscribers of the Partial Terror, so I'll hold on to that for later. Here we go. Cryptocam Predator theme. Nice green flyer, like the Predator blood. It's got a cool little Predator picture right there on the bottom. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. This is about what's in the box here. It's like the, read that here in a minute. This is a decal, replica of the Predator, original Predator film sticker there. It's pretty cool, Arnold on it there. Get to the chopper. I'll definitely make a little magnet about out of that. Stick it on some magnet strips and stick it up here. <laughs> some little like kind of looks like blood like a little splat of blood gummy candy that's pretty fun Ooh, see something really cool here it's humongous a humongous wall plaque in there everybody it's got to be the biggest one I've ever seen coming out of a partial tear but this here is the business card go get your partial tear eh and you get numerous things from the partial terror over there at Cryptocurum. He has all kinds of things you can buy. Order you subscribe to the partial terror, get that every month, or visit the Cryptocurium Etsy store and get some interesting items over there as well. I'm gonna leave this wall plank in here for last and I'll show you this piece of artwork. Look at this. There you go, nice headhunter there. Really cool, so you get up close for you. That's pretty cool. That looks like, um, I can't remember the artist's name, but it looks very much like the Xenomorph artwork that he did a while back in the uh, LB 426 theme partial tear. So we'll see you on the flyer card in just a minute. But look at this bad boy. This is the last item in the box, and I know why this is pretty much the only thing in the partial tariff for this month, for April, because it's crazy big and damn nice looking. So let me get it out of here. Wow! Look! Look! Bigger than the hand. But this is a Predator 
wall plaque. It's awesome. It's got all kinds of great detail. You even got a really cool looking xenomorph alien skull in the background. All kinds of little skulls. Y'all want to see it, right? <laughs> there you go. Check this out. Boom. Look at that. The lights are definitely going to wash out a lot of the detail as far as the bronze paint scheme on it. But let's see if I can get it up here for you guys to see. Pretty great. Look at that. Amazing. Nice 3D raised. Get in there and look at all that stuff. Here's that xenomorph skull. That is amazing. Wow. That thing is just amazing. Look at that. Wow. Let's see what the flyer has to say about it. Welcome to the Predator edition of Partial Terror. The demon makes trophies of men print. That's what this is called. The demon who makes trophies of men print. The ultimate alien hunter is depicted in a striking color and style by Cryptogram guest stars Brandon Zimmerman. I knew that was probably Brandon Zimmerman's work. Look at that. This print was created exclusively for the Partial Terror. See more of Brandon's work at Missourium.com, which is an amazing website as well. Missourium.com. Brandon Zimmerman makes some really cool looking sculpts, sculptures and wall plaques and things over there. Alright, we got the Predator movie. Whoop, upside down. Predator movie poster sticker, recreation of the original art poster. Poster art from 1987 film. And what else we have here? <laughs> the City Hunter Wall Medallion Wall Plaque. The City, the City Hunter Medallion Wall Plaque. Look at that. The Savage and Baron's Killer from Predator 2 is depicted in his display wall of trophy skulls. Behind him, cast and style original individually hand painted with a metallic bronze finish. This is the largest piece ever offered in a partial terror to date. Wall medallions of this size will be included in the partial terror from time to time. So that is cool. And that is definitely the biggest wall plaque they've ever had. I think the other one was pretty big. A big size wall plaque was the uh, Halloween wing pumpkin, like the bloody bloody jack wall plaque. I can't remember what it's called, but way back over a year ago. So, <laughs> Alright, that is amazing. Look, at, I was, Get you a good look at the skulls. I'll try to take a better picture at the end of my video if I remember to put pictures up everybody. Kind of see this a little better in a little better light. Alrighty. And we've got a blood splatter candy. Which is pretty cool little candy. I've never seen nothing like that before. A little blood splatter gummy. Stick it on your forehead and freak people out. Oh, I got shot. Once again, thank you for subscribing to the Partial of Terror. Please feel free to share unboxing videos and pictures across all social medias. And I really like the picture of the Predator there on the flyer again. So that's cool. Let's see what this other flyer says real quick. This is actually the other wall plaque I was talking about. The bloody Jack right there. He made that actually into a wall plaque. Oh, um, some time ago, way back on a partial terror, a couple years ago for Halloween partial terror, I believe. But this newsletter says, I'd like to take a moment to talk about horror subscription boxes for a moment. The partial terror was created as a, re <laughs> as a reaction to subscription boxes that were out of out the time of 2015. I thought the idea of the company buying a bunch of randomly assembled or even themed items 
and putting them in my box and sending them to them seemed somewhat silly to me and I figured I could offer something a little more special. The Partial of Terror was and always will be a monthly ship, shipment of handmade art and that's why I love the Partial of Terror. All back here, all these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous sculpted slasher magnets from all kinds of horror films, classic universal monsters. You're not going to get it anywhere else. Handcrafted by artists and all individually hand painted. Alrighty, so let me keep reading. The Partial of Terror was and always will be a monthly shipment of handmade art. Not store bought not 3D printed, and not imported. I feel as though folks have forgotten and may have never even have known this fact. Lately, there seems to be an attitude, attitude to how many items are in the box or going around. And I want to reiterate that I have always been about the quality over quantity. I'm happy with this partial tear. I didn't get but a couple items, but that wall plaque is stellar and amazing and out of this world. Yeah, see what I did there? I take pride in time and effort in putting into a pieces that I create. And I avoid stuffing the partial terror with filler because it's always been all about the art. Partial terror is not a horror subscription box. It's a monthly shipment of homemade art that focuses on horror and sci-fi themed creative items. Ugh. can't read all that right now. I respect what the horror subscription boxes do, but there should not, should be more comparison drawn between, there should be, I cannot read, it's been a long day, heat's breaking me out, my neck's all red, please ignore that. Try this last sentence here again. I respect what horror subscription boxes ha do, but there should be no comparison drawn between them and a partial tear. I've always said that since the first day, almost the very first day since I've got my first partial tear. And I've actually gotten every shipment of partial tear now for well over two years, going on three. And I've always said it's unlike any other subscription box, and it's about art. And I've always preached that here on my videos. Lately, I wanted to talk about the items included in a partial tear in an effort to keep things interesting and exciting for you folks. I like to vary the types of items that are included each month. I know everyone loves the magnets, and they are here to stay, but new types of resin pieces will be making their way into each monthly shipment. The Predator Edition included the first wall plaque to be given you a more supple piece of art for that month. The larger pieces allow me to spend more time on one sculpt and give you more substantial piece of art for the month. I can't read, like I said, everybody. They will not be included every month, but will serve as a variety of items, types that are included. Variety is the spice of life. I, I really love this, man. It is it's great. It'll go well with the alien wall plaque that he did a while back with the alien egg. And then the alien face hugger crawling up the side of the egg was amazing, really detailed. I want to thank you all for the bottom of my heart for being a continued subscriber, and it means a lot to me to know that sending my handcrafted creations to you every month. If you have any questions, comments, please email me and reach out to me. That said, I'm okay with there not being a magnet because if you, I want to promote the uh, Cryptocurium Etsy store and you can go and get an, an amazing set of Predator themed magnets and I have the set right here and I'll give you a quick look at it. First off you have the uh, arm device from the Predator right there. The heat sets off his bomb too. You have the trophies Head hunting trophies there with spines attached to them. You have the predator himself, predator warrior here, and cloak version. That is awesome. And I'll put the uh, video link 
to when I got the order of these in the video description below. And the Unmasked Predator Magnet, which is probably my favorite one. Look at that. Look at that ugly face only a mother can love. Yo, one ugly mother beep. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty, everybody. What did y'all think of this April Partial Terror, the Predator theme? It's amazing. I love it. And I look forward to getting Partial Terror every month. Link in the description below. If you'd like to order your Partial Terror, you won't be disappointed. You can smell the art in every piece that you get. Let me see that wall plaque. Where's that? Oh, yeah. Smells like art. That is amazing. It's huge. I'm definitely going to find a nice spot to hang this up. Wow. So, everybody, check out Partial Terror. Let me know what you think of the items. I'm okay with the bots not having as many items, but getting a really nice detailed piece right there. And go to the Etsy shop. The link will be in the description below. Order your cool Predator Magnet set. And he also has Xenomorph Magnets. I have a whole set of the Xenomorph Life Cycle Magnets. They're amazing as well. So thank you, Jason Kitcher, for all you do over there, for giving us a unique service to all of us people who love horror and art. And... If this is what you love, handmade items, everybody, can't go wrong with the partial tear. Like, comment, subscribe, and take care. Bye. Want some candy?